the thing I, I want my kids to get from me is the spirit of the outdoors. But in the city, it wasn't my first instinct and it wasn't something that I was taught growing up in the heart of LA. When I was with my dad, we would go up to the baseball field until they turned the lights off. But my dad and I never did outdoor stuff. The boys really love the dirt and being out. I think it's super confidence building and it's just good for them to just have another uh, arrow in the quiver. Is that right how you say that? I don't even know how you say that. You guys hungry yet or you want to wait a little bit? Two more actually. I am early in my own journey to be really proficient in the out of doors. There's always something to do here. It's whack-a-mole here. Obviously, this is not helping. Daddy, look. Nice. Did, did you chop that off? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Most of our property doesn't have any roads cut on it. We can, without having to cut a whole road, use the Can-Am to kind of wiggle through the trees and get through the brush and get to places so we can load up logs onto it and bring firewood back. Where else do they get to take a sharp object and bust it into some wood. Can't do that in my backyard. I'll pass it over to Fuller so he can kind of walk you through the elements that you play with and how you get to an idea. All right, everybody. All right, later. My father was born in Jim Crow South in 1925. Here's my dad with Tom Bradley. This is the first black mayor of Los Angeles. They were both Kappa Alpha size, which was a black fraternity. He went to Howard Law School, not because he wanted to go to a historically black college. He had to because of segregation. If he wanted to do something and there was resistance, he'd push against it. And this is him at maybe 75, completing the LA Marathon. My dad paved the way for me to have way more opportunity, and he made me feel really loved all the time. Hey, hey, hey. But where, where, no, where are those? Um, yeah, it's stressful being a dad sometimes. You know, like it's always like a balance of what you let them do on their own and what you do for them. And I grind pretty hard. All right, let's hit it. I go back and forth with being really good about my work-life balance, but it gets really busy. And so working, 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 working. I thought were the best. And it's three hours here. Okay, great, man. I got to run. All right, that's it. Yes. Except one more. No, 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 no. The most amazing thing that happens is when you're on the way here, cell service dies out. The conversations you had at home and the Zoom calls and the meetings fade away. And then, uh, and then you're here. We try to get here and just release and chill out. Enjoying where you are, enjoying the dirt. Yeah. Do you just come here and kind of slow down? You know, you just come and hang. Um, sometimes we rip and just bomb down dirt roads. All right, here we go, boys.
think if you guys have kids one day that you'll camp with them? Mm-hmm, for sure. Definitely. Why? Because camping is awesome. We love you, Daddy. <laughs> love you, Dad. <laughs> Shucks.